Welcome back, good people of the interwebs. Okay, so, the last week in America has been a rather dicey one. Spicy one. Eh, a repeat of moves. Why do I say a repeat of moves? Didn't I realize that Congress got attacked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congress got attacked by un unarmed people that the police actually, more or less, allowed to enter. They shouldn't have, mind you, they shouldn't have controlled opposition as a thing. And I'm pretty sure that, yes, the people that died actually died, so that's no fun, that's no joke. But among the people that penetrated the, the seat of government, well, part of it anyway, some of them were controlled opposition. We know that Antifa was inside. Everyone talks about how it's right wing. Confirmed there were Antifa people among them as well. Now don't get me wrong, I think they're useful idiots just as much. It's all controlled opposition. It's going to be a tool used by the Democrats to further diminish the rights of the American people. Now, why would I say that? Well, amongst other things, we're being told that something like this never, ever, ever happened before. But the thing is, it has. I mean, Black Lives Matter was at Congress Hall uh, during the, the, the Kavanaugh hearings. It was a mess. But yeah, nothing got destroyed there. Well, that's not really true, but sure, why not? And then there is this. In 1983, a group of radical leftist revolutionaries uh, attacked the building. One of the people that did this was Susan Rosenberg. I'm not going to go into the name people, yes, but I'm not going to go into it. Keep in mind that this person got a sentence of 58 years so they took it very serious and she served 16 years when Bill Clinton pardoned her because well let's be honest why not and I mean this is not the worst thing she's done or rather it is but there are more terrible things she did because when she was arrested oh you know what maybe I shouldn't tell you maybe I should just show you because the worst part of it is we know this shit it's 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 the left didn't think about having this blocked just yet mind you i'm making this video so that we can see it because i'm pretty sure the left is going to block it but that's a different story altogether in it so let's go to susan rosenberg's wikipedia page born in 55, yeah, sure, activist, mm -hmm, social justice, right, bloody bloody blah, bloody bloody blah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, where is it? Oh, yes, uh, FBI report openly advocated to overthrow the US government through armed struggle and the use of violence. Now, it's quite common for the Bolshevik to be threatening violence. It's something that the left does quite often. Right wing violence usually is as a response to left wing violence. Or at least this is what history has shown us, which is still a terrible thing, but yeah, sure, okay, whatever. Um, she was uh, in support of uh, an offshoot of the Black Liberation Army, including an armored truck of robberies, and she later engaged in the bombings of government buildings. Yes, I showed you the meme a moment ago. After living as a fugitive for two years, Rosenberg was arrested in 1984 while in possession of a large cache of explosives and firearms. Oh, and she had also been sought as an accomplice in the 1979 prison escape of Asata Shakur and a brink robbery that resulted in the death of two police and a guard. So basically she's a murderer and a terrorist. And Asata Shakur is a cop killer too. So, hey, good company, I guess. But yeah, whatever. I mean, she got a prison sentence and she served 16 years until uh, 
Bill Clinton on January the 20th in 2001 basically said, yeah, you know what, you did some terrible things, but it's my last day in office, so no one can do me anything, you can go free. Go back to your um, peaceful ways. Now, activism and imprisonment, I mean, if the site is still up, I'd advise you to go and read it. If not, I will leave it open so you can pause and read it here. Obviously, I'm not going to change anything. Can't say the same for... Uh, I shouldn't. Anyway, if you read this, um, yeah, I mean, she's not a pillar of the community, but um, what she is, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom, as of 2020, Rosenberg serves as a vice chair of the board of directors of Thousands Currents, a non-profit foundation that sponsors the fundraising and does the administrative work for the Black Lives Matter Global Network. Anyone noticing a thread here? No, no, the guy with the headdress, dressed like an, uh, an, an, an American Viking Indian. Yeah, no, he should go to jail for the rest of his life because he broke into a building. He didn't kill anyone, mind you. Didn't th threaten to kill anyone either. Now, had he, he would be okay. I mean, yeah, sure, he might go to jail for 16 years. Then again, it's a man, so maybe 20 years. But, um, yeah, a, a Democrat will then... Uh, release him. Oh no, wait a second, because these people protested against the Democrats. And we know that the Republicans do not release cop killers. But then again, this is not a cop killer. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, Susan is. The Viking American isn't. Viking Indian American? Dude, I mean, if you have a costume, at least try to figure out which costume you're going to have. All of a different story. But are we noticing a pattern here? Okay, I've left it long enough. You could have paused, you could have read. So I'm going to go back to the meme. Because it's brilliant, isn't it? How the mainstream pundits are telling us, oh, well, we've never had anything like this happen in the good old US of A. But um, we have, haven't we? Strange how that goes. That's the thing with the Bolshevik. That's the thing with the postmodernist. History means nothing. How dare you suggest that events and words have meaning? Obviously, this will be one of the many things that I'm doing that will uh, not please the overlords. But then again, my YouTube channel is small enough as it is, so they won't care. Uh, I might uh, lose this video. Might not. I mean... Why bring attention to it, right? So all I can ask you is like, share and subscribe and, and make waves. Obviously, I don't agree with the violence done in the capital. I think people were wrong to do this. At the same time, it's not a first time. And I fear it may be the only way to go now. I mean, let's be honest. Politicians are calling out other politicians. They're calling out people to attack other politicians. And it didn't start this week. Hell, we can still remember Maxine Water when Trump was just inaugurated. Remember? If you see people who work with this president make a crowd in the street, attack these people. Well, she didn't say attack these people. Make a crowd, make a noise, let them know they're not welcome here. I'm sorry, but the violent rhetoric didn't come from Trump or the Republicans or the supporters of Trump. But as history has shown us, that's about to change.
when the Bolsheviks started basically attacking the civilians in Italy at the turn of the 20th century, uh, 2010, 2015, Italy didn't automatically turn into a fascist state. It took several years before Mussolini and the grassroots movement from the Italian people fighting back against the Bolshevik turned into fascism. And then when the fascists were attacking everyone in Germany, don't forget the Spartacus Revolution in Weimar Republic Germany was in 1918. Most people didn't even care about Hitler back then. In 1933, the Socialist and Communist Party basically put their hands together and organized in a way to combat the fascists in it, uh, Germany. There weren't any, not back then, I mean, Hitler's party was nothing. But Antifa got started and they attacked people. Well, obviously they attacked people. It started in 1918 with the uh, Spartacus Revolution. And the Freikorps fought back. The Freikorps, by the way, are not political. And then, eventually, Antifa got started and the Nazi party got started and they started to butt heads. I love it how the Bolshevik will always say that they are in a response to the violence on the other side, when history shows us that time and again it's the other way around. Antifa is creating havoc in America and the Proud Boys got started. And Antifa is there to stand up against the Proud Boys, but Antifa was there before the Proud Boys. And the Proud Boys responded to Antifa. And just like in Italy and in Weimar Republic Germany, the politicians protect Antifa. Well, hashtag not all. Yeah, sure, hashtag not all. But it's still happening. And sooner or later, the population will turn against the left-wing Bolshevik. And then all of a sudden they're right-wing. I prefer that we could prevent that from happening. I really do. America, please return to the rule of law. Don't bullshit around talking about how you're going to attack certain Republicans. I think they're idiots too, sure. But they have the right to speak. And the left wing should realize that you're not the government, you're representatives. Okay, you're the government, you're the government of representatives. You should represent your people, not the big global corporations. And in all fairness, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, it doesn't really matter because both of these groups are culpable in this. That's why they hated Trump so much. He rocked the boat. And this is why so many Americans will stand up and will be counted. Because they want to rock the boat too. Globalists have had a long time playing. But um, in America too, they are now being called out for the violence they are enacting on their people. But remember what happened the 6th of January Oh yeah, that's right-wing right -wing extremism. That's right-wing terrorism. Oh, all these people need to go away a very long time. But when someone actually kills cops, when someone actually builds bombs to attack these places of power, well, I mean, they will get 16 years, but um, a president will pardon them. A Democrat president will pardon them. I'm sorry, America, but um, seems you've got a lot of shit to deal with. I wish you the best of luck, and I do hope you do not turn into what happened in turn of the century, well, turn of the 20th century, Europe. But if you do, uh, good luck. Like, subscribe if you want to. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. No, actually, please share this. You don't have to like it, but please share this. Because this is a conversation we need to be having. 
It's not about whether Trump was the greatest president in the world. Maybe he was the biggest dick out there. Who cares? But what the other side has been doing in the last four years and the last two weeks, my God, America, stand up and claim your country back, even if you're a Democrat. Because do you think, seriously, do you think that if you disagree with any of these politicians, you will have a right to speak? Bloody hell. If you have enough people listening to you, they will silence you. And if, that's, if that can be done by merely removing you from social media, okay, yeah, sure, no problem. If not, well, if history has anything to go by, all we have to do is look at China, Russia, Yugoslavia, Romania, Venezuela, Zimbabwe. You want me to continue with the list? Because I'm not really done yet. But none of these places ended up well. I need to stop. I'm ranting. I hope to see you all next time.